for large data sets, Array.Reduce is both faster and more memory efficient. So yesterday we were talking about this, how to group orders by country code. And we we're looking at using orders.reduce versus object.groupby or map.groupby. And there's this comment, a lot of people see that and say, well, I'll, I'll remember that. But I, we're going to always tell you this, tools over rules. Don't remember something as gospel. Test it. You can test these things. So let's check it out, right? Uh, what you want to do is go to one of these websites, jsperf.app or one of these benchmarking websites. And the way that it works is you set up some like an array. And here what I've done is I have an array of a thousand items and we you can go ahead and set up your different test cases so we have the code for running it as a reduce we have object.group by then i also added a for loop because a lot of the comments were saying i would just run a for loop um, and then i also added map.group by so you just simply go ahead and run that sucker two minutes later and here's our result the for loop coming in the fastest at fifty-two thousand times per second and the reduce coming in at, at the slowest at 32,000 times, which is, that's not slow at all. That's, that's very fast. If you have a thousand milliseconds and you run that 32 seconds at 0 0.03 milliseconds to run that function, that's plenty fast. However, that might just be my computer. That might just be my browser, right? These things run differently. So let's try it out on, on Firefox. There we go. Object got, got group by coming in as the fastest. Map dot group by coming at the slowest. Let's try it on Safari. There we go. Reduce. Paul's right. Reduce coming in way faster uh, than the slowest. Right. Almost seven times faster with the than the actual for loop. So the important thing here is if you really think this is going to be causing you a performance issue in your application, you have so much data that you're using JavaScript to loop over this data. Then yeah probably go test it and figure out what's the use case. But in most cases, we prefer the developer experience and the the inferred types that you get from this type of stuff versus these rules of always use a reduce and whatnot. So let me let me know what you think. Does this stuff matter?